visit in a few moments. Good afternoon, everyone. It is a great honor to welcome the Prime Minister of Iraq uh, to the uh, United States Capitol. You know, we Americans feel that we've had a close relationship over the years and want to continue working together for stability in the region, uh, to address the COVID crisis, and I express the condolences of the American people and the Congress of the United States to you for the loss of life in the COVID award, uh, to and we want to crush the pandemic and hopefully working together, we're pleased with the president's announcement of COVAX, the, the, uh, the vaccines to Iraq, to bolster democracy throughout the region and certainly to help with the upcoming elections in Iraq and to uh, combat the climate crisis, which is uh, immediate to, to all of us and all of our actions um, have an impact. So the global cooperation is so important in Iraq so important to that. So we, following this uh, meeting, we will be meeting in a bipartisan way with members of Congress, of, of the leadership. A couple of them served in Iraq. Two of our members uh, served in Iraq, and they're very eager to, uh, uh, to see the Prime Minister, to pay their respects, to have the conversation about how we can, working together, accomplish our environmental, our health, our economic, our democratic goals. With that, I'm very pleased to yield to the distinguished Prime Minister of Iraq. Welcome to the capital. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. It's a great honor to be here today in the House of American People and to discuss the future of our relation between the United States and Iraq. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. 